we are doing pastel leather and I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this jacket. I completely love the colour and at the top it seems to fit kind of like the collar is nice and even the sleeves are a little bit big but they're not too bad but I do feel like it has been cut for um, kind of a plus size figure and although they do a vast like variety of sizes they're all kind of cut the same so they're not cut for you know, the sizes that they are and so all of them are cut I assume anyway uh, I'm interested to see how Emma's um, is on her but all of them are cut kind of like to fit here and then they kind of go out a little bit which is great because they're cut for curves but I don't really have any curves so in this situation I feel like although we wanted to show you as many outfits as possible with identical items this maybe isn't the best one because it doesn't really kind of suit my shape because uh, I don't really go in at the waist that's why I belt a lot of things to kind of give the illusion of curves but anyway I wanted to mention that because um, the whole point of this series is kind of how things fit at different sizes so I thought it was relevant so Anyway, I decided to wear this with a floral dress, and I actually bought this dress because uh, Emma always wears floral swing dresses, and I saw this in Primark and I thought this will be perfect for the series because then we can each wear a floral swing dress. However, if I wear this as a swing dress, I look like a hospital patient. It's like, I'll put a picture up, um, if I have one, I think I do, if I have one I'll put a picture up now um, of uh, an Instagram photo that I put up where basically I'm just wearing it and it's just like hanging from me but again moving back to the not having any curves thing it just hangs from my boobs down and I look like I'm wearing a hospital gown so it's not perfect unless I belt it in which case I actually really like it I think the material is really nice some of the Primark cotton dresses are gorgeous I wear them a lot wash them a lot and they wear uh, they wash really really well and they tend to just last me a long time so I'm pleased that I got this but it needs a belt um, and I am wearing bare legs and boots I will show you now the belt I actually got from Primark recently as well it's one of those uh, you could wear it as a hip belt but because of the weave um, I can kind of pop it in at any stage and so I can wear it however I want really um, but the boots that I'm wearing are from H&M I'm kind of indecided about this one as well undecided indecisive um, about these as well I love them and I think they go so well with the outfit but the whole boots and bare legs thing ah. <laughs> I try and wear this trend all the time and I feel like my legs are just like so so pale and unless I've tanned which I haven't at the moment um, I don't know I feel like maybe I'm too pale to kind of pull off this trend but regardless this is probably how I would wear this this or of course I would wear my Converse which were always my old faithfuls but I do like this kind of combination and I like the brown and the brown given that the leather jacket is pink on the whole the whole pastel leather trend has really got me I have got a couple other uh, pleather like this one jackets on order so you may see some more from me in the future uh, and to be quite honest if it wasn't for this it just feels like maybe it should just have been a little bit shorter on the bottom um, but I do think that maybe just because the brand is Simply B it is just cut for curves which I unfortunately do not have <laughs> but let me know what you guys think and uh, I hope you're enjoying the series so far don't forget to check out Emma's links below as well as links to where you can find all of the things that I'm wearing if I can link to them and I'll see you guys in next week's video bye